sports betting legend, right? Man, King, number one. How's it been going this month? Killing it, killing it. Yeah? Every, it seems like every time I go out of town, that's when I really Interesting. Like, when I'm in LA, I do all right, but when I'm out How long did it take you to get good at sports betting? Were you profitable the first year? No, I, <laughs> I lost. I probably been betting 10 years, 8 years, something like that. I probably lost the first five. Holy... We are back. I'm with my co-host Wayne Lewis today. What up, what up? It's been a while and we got guests today. Dalton Patterson. How's it going, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Be good. Good. Sports betting legend, right? Man. King, number one. How's it been going this month? Bro. Yeah? Every, it seems like every time I go out of town, that's when I really Interesting. Like, when I'm in LA, I do all right, but when I'm out of town, I just go crazy. I don't know why. Is it because you're studying more? Or? No, I'm, I'm actually studying less. <laughs> <laughs> so when you out of town, what you mean out of town? Here in Vegas, where the, where the money energy Mexico, is or just in general? Yeah. When I was in Mexico, I was going crazy. Okay. When I was here, I was going crazy. Mm-hmm. When I went to New Orleans last month, I went crazy. Like When I'm out of town, I don't know why. I just I went every time I'm out of town. It's probably different. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. You betting on every sport? No, nah, just football, basketball. Football, basketball? Yes, sir. So why those two and not every sport? I don't watch baseball. I only bet on what I watch. Mm. Oh, okay. So, so. And what type of bets are your favorite? Uh, mostly uh, spreads. spreads. Spreads over under. Over under. Sometimes I do a few player props, but for the most part, it's just those two. And what goes into your decision making process? Uh, stats, past history, um, just how they've been performing the last ten games. Hmm. Um, it's, a, it's a couple different things. Injuries. Injuries. It's, yeah. it's, it's a lot of different yeah. things, bro. But. I know with sports betting, if you win over, what is it, 54%, you're profitable? Yeah, I'll probably win like 70%. Holy crap. Yeah, that's, that's high. That's high. Yeah. I think most most best boarders, well, most uh, sports bettors, uh, their win margins are pretty high, right? Well, that's it's, where you want to be, right? If, that's if you're a winner. winner. Right, if you're like, a winner. If you're a winner. If, you, if you're not a winner. I know <laughs> people that you know people mm-hmm. that ain't ain't really ain't really into it like that. Twenty percent, thirty percent. It's like when you get like when people get into the parlays, their your 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 winnings get lower because you betting so many things together. Mm-hmm. But also, you also betting alternate sprays at the same time for mm-hmm. the most part. So it's trying to make it easier for it to hit, but it's still hard to hit that. Right. So it's like if you were to bet just straight spreads on your parlays, it's still it's hard to hit half of the. Like, yeah, that's a fact. Mm-hmm. You, you got to know how to pick them. Have you hit any nasty parlays? Uh, I don't really do parlays like that. Yeah. When I when I first started betting, I was doing parlays, mm-hmm. but for the most part, I don't really do them. Yeah, I feel like the odds are just way too hard on those. Uh, well, it's not worth some it. people are like they they praise a parlay. Like, parlay P. <laughs> parlay P. Praise. That's like he, he his me thing, too. bro. <laughs> parlay P's are like that. That's like his thing. He make a living off of that. Him and. Uh, my man S Fly, they're both like right, parlay. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like sports betters have beef with each other. I don't know why. No, it, it's enough. It's we we can we can come together and really and really it, right. make some some good picks. But right. I don't know why everybody want to beef. It's, it's crazy. Ego. Well, I just think clientele too. Everybody wants to be number one. Right. I There's mean, so many sports betters. Like, yeah. It's just well, it, now it's starting to it's starting to really like blow up. Everybody right? starting it's legal. to really yeah. So everybody mm-hmm. is starting to. Try to sell their picks. But do you feel like since it's gotten more legal, the actual sports betting itself has gotten legal everywhere, that uh, the fix is more in now than ever? Nah. I, I just feel like I just feel like people it's, – it's a lot of fake gurus out here too. Like I've mm-hmm. heard stories like people come to me and it was like, bro, dude got two group chats. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what you mean? He like – he sent half his pick he, – he'll pick – Two sides of the game, mm-hmm. pick one side in one group chat, put one side in another group chat, <laughs> and whatever side hit, they'll post that winner. Well, no. how, how effective is that? <laughs> no. Uh, how effective is that? It's not effective because you got one side losing and one <laughs> side like winning. winning. <laughs> <laughs> you got one one group of clients so, so, so no matter what, you're a winner because <laughs> you pick both that sides. Is oh, is that why you see those crazy win streaks people post? I don't I, that's cra- that was insane to me when somebody told me. Yeah. I, was, I, was, I couldn't believe it. Because people post their betting records, and it's always some yeah. absurd stats, like yeah, 105. Yeah. <laughs> 105 and 10. It's impossible, bro. For real. I, anybody say they 50 and 2, I don't believe mm-hmm. it. Like, you got you to gotta show me. Yeah. <laughs> it's impossible. So what, 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 what would you say sets you apart from all the other sports bettors? Like, what makes you special in a way that you do things? Mm. 
I just keep I, I'm, I'm transparent with everything, bro. Like mm-hmm. I might not like nobody's gonna sit here and post their lo- their losses all day. Like mm-hmm. like I don't want I don't want to remind myself that I lost, and my mm-hmm. subscribers don't be reminded that they lost. But mm-hmm. you know, I'm just transparent and telling them what to pick. Like not I'm big on not overbetting. Mm-hmm. So like keep like stay under control because once you start getting out of control, that's that's when they really get bad. So like yeah. you can stop the parlays and stay under control with your management and hit consistently. You gonna you gonna make money. You bet the same amount every bet. Usually, yeah. Unless it's like a sometimes it's like a Super Bowl or like a big game. I'll just I'll do more because it's, it's just more exciting. Yeah. But for the most part, it's pretty much the same unit every game. What amount is that? Usually around five thousand a game. A game? Yeah. So wow. how many games are you doing a day? About. Uh, this depends. I try to stay around like five. Jeez. Oh, okay. Three to five. So you're doing about twenty five k a day. Keep if I, if keep I hit the them all, if I hit them all. When yeah. I when I when I make them videos, mm-hmm. yeah, okay. <laughs> that's not bad. Seven out of ten is a lot, man. So you're winning three or four a day. Yeah, yeah since, since I've been in Vegas, uh, since I've been here the last three days, I'm like eight and two. Wow, wow. That's two games. That's, so sports books probably hate you. Yeah, they, I got I got um disabled on two on, <laughs> on uh, Bovada and Bet Online. Wow, oh, for real? Yeah, they shut me down because they thought so basically. They thought I was taking the, the, the same bet on multiple accounts because you know there's a limit on one on one account. Mm-hmm. But I got so many accounts following my thing. They're like, so soon as soon as I put it in, everybody else put it in. So they think that um, it's you doing it's me all doing the it bets. on like thousands mm-hmm. of accounts. Uh, mm. so, so people they, can they, see your bets. Yeah. So when I when I, I post to my chat, I po- I take my picks my, first myself, post to the chat, and then everybody else go takes takes it right behind me. But it's like they thought I was taking it on. Thousands of accounts. Wow, like, that's crazy. Like, it's impossible. So they locked my account for like two weeks. I'm like, bro, this not me. You can call them people. They, right. Like, that's them. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> What's the biggest day you've had? Uh, my biggest bet that I probably did probably was like forty or fifty thousand. Like, that's just, not bad. Just on on one single game. See, most yeah. sports bettors, sports bettors probably been like, yeah, I did like five hundred k in one yeah, day. I don't see the point in betting that much, bro. Like, yeah. unless you was like a billionaire, like mm-hmm. it's it's too risky. Like, you bet five hundred k on a game and you only got. Five million. You betting ten percent of your whole net worth mm-hmm. on one game. That's not guaranteed. Yeah, look, it looked good on paper till mm-hmm. they till they lose. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. So when Mozzie said one point two, I was like, bro. Yeah. And he said he didn't have anxiety. Yeah, I was I mean, like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he got fifty, if he got fifty to hundred million, have at it. But yeah, it's tough to picture someone having that much in that industry. Well, I mean, it's I. I believe it's possible, but it's possible. Like you said, it's definitely it comes possible with, with management and saving, and you got to win a lot. You have yeah. to win a lot. Cause losing is always and it happens. It's, you can you can think it's guaranteed, bro, and it's it's never guaranteed, bro. Yeah. But I feel like it's just hard because don't they cap your bet size? They do. So if you bet that much, you gotta have at least 10, 15 books where you can bet a hundred thousand each. Like, right. So if you can spread it out, I mean, if you're in Vegas, it's a little bit easier because you can go to the casino and just you know do what you do in yeah. casinos. But when you in a state where you can't really bet, I can't use FanDuel because I'm in, mm. I'm in California. Mm. No FanDuel, no DraftKings, none of that. So mm. I can only use. Bet online and bought. So or prize picks, man. But I don't really. You do only charge. What do you charge a month for yourselves? So right now I'm at fifty a month, which is That's cheaper, cheap. That's cheaper low. than Super anybody cheap, ever in the industry, bro. And I was charging, I was charging twenty a month at first. <laughs> bro, <laughs> like I would my, try that. <laughs> right, my, no, <laughs> bet. my subscription got maxed out. Like it was, it wasn't able to accept more people inside the subscription. A new one. Mm-hmm. So right now I'm at like almost five, five, six thousand people. Holy. Pain. Fifty bucks a month, bro. Well, Twenty, and then some people are on the fifty dollar plan. Yo, that is ends every month. Every month, dude. That's, that's that's cash flow. That's good money. It's good money. I feel like, and I feel like I'm helping people because everybody can't afford to pay five hundred thousand mm-hmm. for a pick. Fifty dollars a month. That, that's McDonald's. That's yeah. Netflix. Whatever. Like, yeah, that's you know, less. What that's two yeah. two dollars a day? Three three dollars a day? Yeah. Pretty that's much. Cheap as I've heard. Vegas yeah. Dave charges a lot. Oh my god, fifteen hundred for a bet. Fifteen hundred or something. Yeah, for something one like bet. For one bet. So yeah. you got to bet like five k to make bet 10K it. Literally, to, you know, to make some money. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and and I said if he winning, I don't know if he winning. Yeah. What if you lose the bet? <laughs> what if he losing? You know. <laughs> no lie, bro. One time I uh, hit him for a UFC bet or one of one of those bets. He like yeah, lay five k on it. Bro, in ten seconds, the dude that I bet on got knocked out. Oh my god! The fastest loss. I was like, "Yo, this is crazy." <laughs> I've had, I've had, um, I was at a studio with a rapper, and um, I'm not gonna say who it was, but he was telling me about this one guy he bets with, mm-hmm. and uh, he was like, "Yeah, I was betting with him, bro, and I bet with him like five or ten times, and I paid him a thousand each time. I lost every one. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, 
I like the fifty because even if you lose, they're not gonna be pissed at you. Fifty nah, a month, you you literally get thirty days, bro. Yeah, thirty days to. So how make, much are they actually? So that fifty can potentially be thirty five thousand. It can if, be whatever you bet if they whatever stay on whatever whatever your unit size is, bro. If you've been no fifty is to to join my group. Yeah. Once you're but, in my group, you get, get plays, right? you get all of my plays. You get all of my plays. I'm saying that if you're betting right, you can so potentially you, right. make five, make, six thousand dollars a month. Easy. On 50 bucks. easy. And you're betting every day, even weekends. Um, every day that there's basketball, football, or basketball, or football, pretty yeah. much NFL or NCAA. Wow. And what about regular season versus playoffs? Are you better at a certain style? I'm better. I'm usually better at the beginning of the season. Mm. Regular season. Be- beginning of the season is is when you really can make a lot of money because. The books are not really hip to right. what all the teams are going to do. So if you're really right. tuned in, you can yeah, because their algorithms off. can't predict that early, off. right? Like the first four or five weeks is a little off. Yeah, because they don't know how good Victor Wembanyama is going to be or don't anything. Know. Yeah, yeah. Yep. How do you, who who do you think is going to the Super Bowl this year? Hmm, <sighs> that's tough. That's tough. The Niners could go. I think the Eagles could definitely go. I like the Ravens yeah. and Niners. I like the Ravens. I like that repeat. They just some, we they haven't just, had they, that in a mm, while. They just so yeah. sometimes. Uh, that's a fact. Like one week they'll play good, the next week they'll lose to the <laughs> to anybody like <laughs> to, the, to the Sacramento to anybody <laughs> <the> Sacramento Kings. <laughs> like they'll lose anybody. Yeah. <laughs> what about the Chiefs? I like the Chiefs. I like Mahomes. Mm. Um, Kelsey been playing pretty good. I, yeah. I think I feel I, like they're but, distracted right now, dude. I can't stand Kelsey's antics off the field right now. I think even in, in, in college, I think the Colorado did a lot better, but they're just too distracted by the media. Yeah. Oh, you feel like they would do better? Colorado, they would do. I think they would do a lot better. Yeah, they're choking certain games. But the meat, the, I don't the, feel the, like but, they're gonna win. But, but you think game, about bro. it, you you, you go to a going. game day and you hanging around rappers all day, like you ain't Little you're not baby, locked in, baby, and then you just yeah. going to the game, like mm-hmm. right. if they were really locked in. Mm-hmm. I think they 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 would be having a lot better season for sure. But I think that this year is about culture building and getting all of our attention on them. I think next year they'll do a lot better maybe. That's but, but Deion going to bring attention regardless. You think yeah. so? Yeah. You think they'll make money? Because they had to pay that guy a lot. Oh, they, the they made yeah, the money. They're they making money for 90 sure. 90 yeah. million the they first couple money. games. Yeah. They made 90 million? Yeah. They're they're making the first couple games. They already made it. They made that, that, they made that money back first season. That money's back. Wow. Because killing it. I think he signed four year 30. 30 a year or 30 total? Total. Four years 30. Oh, so they already made it back. Yeah, I mean it was on prime time for sure. almost every game when they yeah. Being so they that's gonna make be money. and all his endorsements deal, all those sponsorship, the glasses, all that stuff. Mm. That's like them recuperating those funds and helping him get to that that so, margin. That he so wants. we're about to see colleges doing that all the time now. Literally, then. they're gonna yeah. hire the best they, coaches. Mm-hmm. You want to? They want to get. I feel like they want to get popular people yeah. more than just even the best coach. Like because mm. Dion, he was he's not. I mean, he was a good coach at Jackson State, but he's new. Right. So like. But he has a lot of attention behind him, so it's like you right. So like retired, mm. retired athletes will go off there Definitely. that are famous. Mm. Yeah, that's smart. How long did it take you to get good at sports betting? Were you profitable the first year? No, I, <laughs> I lost. I probably been betting ten years, eight years, something like that. I probably lost the first five. Holy! How how many times did you want to quit? Like, I quit, I quit a couple times. <laughs> when I, came back. <laughs> I quit a couple times, but it was just it was always like the parlays, bro. Oh, the part, okay. the part, I was doing like mostly strictly just parlay. Mm-hmm. Like I wasn't mm-hmm. really doing straights like that. Yeah, I've, I learned over time that even if you mm-hmm. bet small units, it's mm-hmm. gonna add up over time. Yeah, yeah. you just doing parlays and you losing every, like you, almost every day you just losing, losing. Like that shit, mm-hmm. it take a toll on your brain. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Like even just seeing a, a single win, just mm-hmm. it just does something to you. But like, I know how people like parlays because they see that small number turn into a turn into number. that big number, yeah. and it's just like. Has anybody ever given you money to turn into more money from? No, I don't take people money. Oh, you don't you don't bet for four nah, people? I ain't doing that. Oh, okay. I just I give you the pick, you go put it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's less risk on your end, I think. Yeah, I don't, do I don't want to deal with none of it. I don't want, nah, I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> do you watch every single game you bet on? No. Probably watch me. I got three monitors at my house that I watch a couple games, but mm. for the most part I don't really watch them all. I I'll go out, I'll go have a drink, mm. go to the pool, whatever. But my yeah. time I'm definitely not watching the game. You got a good lifestyle, man. There's not many jobs you can just do whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> but what, let me, if a person that wants to actually get into sports betting and do it professionally full time, what advice would you have for them? Like, how do you actually like develop a skill set and get really good at it? I think sometimes you just have it or you don't have it. Like, you can mm-hmm. you can you can do a, a lot of studying, but some like I think if you have a a, a background of sports and you played, you mm-hmm. probably do a little better. Mm. Um, but it's 
it's hard, bro. It's this shit is not easy at all. Mm. Like, <laughs> all the study in the world sometimes don't help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there's a reason the sports books are the ones making the money. <laughs> the reason, most profitable. It's a reason, <laughs> it's a reason. Sure. and and it's it's very like you got to have discipline, bro. Like, like yeah. we don't have discipline. Like yeah, they'll win ten games and then eleven game bet it all on one game and lose that one. Mm. And that was the one they thought that was guaranteed. Like right. you can't. You gotta have discipline. If you don't have money management, it's it's a wrap for you. <laughs> so what? Your, what's your definition of money management when it comes to sports betting? So stick into your, stick into your unit size okay. until you build up big enough to up your unit size. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I just say if it's a hundred a game, stick to that hundred a game until you get to a point where you can do it two hundred a game. Don't mm -hmm. don't win ten games straight and then like okay, I'm about to just up my unit size. Like, mm -hmm. It don't work like that. Gotcha. Stand. You gotta stay disciplined. Gotta how, stay disciplined. How long does it take you to make a pick? Like, are you deciding quick? Or are you spending uh, like an hour? Like an hour. About okay. An hour. So you're doing some diligence. I can about an hour. About thirty minutes to an hour. Yeah. Is that for one pick or all of them? That all of all of them. Oh, all of them. How many you put out day. every day? Uh, like I said, about about five, three to five. That's just not. So, I mean, college football on on, on a Saturday, I, I might do a little more because it's mm -hmm. a lot more games. Yeah. But I I catch myself sometimes trying to do extra. I'm like, nah, yeah. I just got to stick to to what <laughs> right. I do. Discipline. Like stick, you said, yeah. You got to be disciplined. And then you got to you gotta not revenge that too. Mm -hmm. So, like, you might be having a bad day. You, let you, it don't, go. Want, you don't want to be losing four or five games. Mm -hmm. And then you just like, I'm going to just pick a game. You ain't do no research, <laughs> nothing. You just pick a game. <laughs> pick. Just pick Just, pick just trying to make superstar. your money back. Yeah. yeah. Never it's good, works. Good way to get cooked. Yeah. <laughs> Getting tilted, they call it in have poker. You, ha ha have you ever put a bet in? I used to do FanDuel. I got wrecked in college, so I deleted it. Oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> that shit's addicting, bro. Yeah, like, it's very that's addicting, for sure. Yeah. They make that's that why shit. People, like, yeah. That's why people pay people, because they, they, they don't want to quit. Yeah. But they also lose at the same time. So, yeah. like, I'm going to just pay somebody to get some yeah. so I can get some action. Mm. And it was actually crazy. My friend in college had an algorithm for FanDuel. He had a 57 win percent Whoa. using, like, spreadsheet algorithm. I was like, wow. Yo, there's a dude using AI. Uh to sports bet. I don't really? know if they're going to ban it soon, but yeah, he's using it. Is it working though? For him, he said he's uh, the last couple, like two weeks, he's been uh, putting it in there and it's been somewhat on, on point. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how they're going to regulate that. How do yeah. you feel about that? I mean, I feel like so sometimes, like I said, you don't need you don't need to know who's on a team sometimes. You mm -hmm. can look at the numbers and yeah. make a prediction off of that for the most part. Yeah, yeah that's AI a good point. AI is crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. It's scary. <laughs> No, that's a good point because sometimes you have an attachment with certain players, so you want to bet on them, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't bet on my teams. Oh, usually. you don't? Usually, yeah. Who is your teams? <sighs> Football, I'm an Atlanta fan. Okay. Horrible. Falcons? Yeah. Sheesh. Oh, we'll get rid of it. Right <laughs> <laughs> Go get a new quarterback. <laughs> right. I'm over that. Get an O line and get a quarterback. What about we'll basketball? Who you at? Basketball, I'm a Curry fan, so by default, I'm a Warriors fan. Like but if he leaves, I'm out. I like the Warriors too. Wow. A lot. I like the Warriors a lot. You saw what Draymond just did? Yeah, I that love was, what that was crazy. Did. You say you love it? I love what Draymond did. Yeah. Why you love Because it just He's always doing some so crazy Draymond shit. Draymond is such a dog. And believe it or not, although he's only scoring about four to ten points a game, the Warriors need him. They definitely need him. And I hate, it. I hate definitely. the fact that they do need him. Why? But I see why they need him. I mean, think about it, Sean. You got Curry giving you 30. Clay, Clay give you 30. Or any, he has so many other players that can score. Draymond yeah. is not a scorer. And I can't figure out what it is. Dre, that he Draymond actually gonna do the does. dirty work. He gonna do the dirty work. But he does the dirty he does work. The dirty he gets work. the rebounds. He can run the ball up the court. He's the aggressor. Defending. He's, yeah. He, he's got to stay under control sometimes. Because that was. I mean, you gotta defend your teammate. That is mm -hmm. your team. But choking him out is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> choking him out. To, <laughs> he tried to tap out. <laughs> then he had, he had the mean go. face. Was, yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. It seemed like it was built up tension or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah, they yeah. Had, he wasn't trying to let him go either. I'm going home. It was two minutes in the game. Is he always doing something like when he stepped on dude? I forgot what game yeah. he, when he stepped like. Oh, I know uh, LeBron. Yeah, that, 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 was, no, no, LeBron. that was, uh, wasn't LeBron. Sabonis from oh, Sabonis? Uh, from the Kings. I think he stepped on his chest. Stepped on him. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah, was crazy. Yeah. No, LeBron stepped over him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he stepped on like on his chest. I yeah, saw he that. Stepped on his that chest. Was crazy. But would the Warriors still be the Warriors without Draymond? Nah. I think they would still they wouldn't be as good, but they would still be they would still be the Warriors. Yeah, the fact that they wouldn't be as good is just uh, crazy to me because there's so much stars on that team. Yeah. I like the fact that they they built together. Yeah. Like they came in together. They stayed together. And they stayed together. Yeah. I don't like I'm I'm not really a big LeBron fan. I don't really like the way he went to Miami and you know, he ran to get mm -hmm. a chip and then come back to get like I don't like Sometimes that. you gotta do it. That's how I feel about K D now. For I don't like what he did. Yeah, either. I think K D is stuck now. Yeah. He's stuck I think he still wouldn't have one if he didn't come to the Warriors. At all. I don't, all. I don't think he would have had one, yeah. No. He still wouldn't have one. And Who you got winning uh NBA this season? Mm. 
That's tough. It's pretty early, so. No, it's It's, hard to tell who's really good. The Mavericks are looking good. Dallas, I was going to say Dallas looks good. I like, like, I'm always like my Warriors. I like the Celtics. I feel like Celtics are good. The Nuggets are going to make a run. I like, um, the whip. I like Nuggets. The Celtics got Porzinga, right? Yeah, Porzingis, yeah. yeah. Porzingis. The Sixers have been playing pretty good since they got rid of Harden. I, I, don't, I think Harden is a c- to whatever team bro, he goes the on. Clip- they, oh, and six they haven't he got won there. a game since he got there, bro. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, I think he's like, done. On paper, you looking at it like this is the, this, this is it. team. This is they it. got PJ Tucker, him. What? He might have to come bro. off the bench, bro. I think he need to come. From it seems like wherever he, goes, <laughs> <laughs> wherever, he wherever he goes, it just seems to just fall apart, bro. Yeah. bro I, don't, I don't know. I think he's past his prime. What is he like? Thirty four now. I think, yeah, I, I think basketball. Certain, that's old. Certain yeah. players don't play good together. Like him and Westbrook not gonna play good. They well, he doesn't play good together with anybody, bro. <laughs> he was decent on the Rockets early days. <laughs> he was. He was. He but, had the Rockets. But he was by himself. Yeah. yeah, he was by himself. It's like West, when Westbrook by himself, he plays great. You put him on the team right now by himself, mm-hmm. he's gonna he's gonna play. But he has the ball a lot. When you don't have the ball as much, it's a little bit harder to to still maintain what mm-hmm. you've been doing. Yeah. You know? They look so good on paper, though. Dude, on paper, really that team good. is it. Yeah. It's the Lakers look good on paper, too. Lakers, That's too. That's true, but they're not that they good. They got glass no. <laughs> over there. <laughs> <laughs> they, just, they just lost to the Kings yeah. last night. Well, they, they got, got beat by 15. Got, but the Kings are actually really, really the Kings, good. The Kings are good, though. Bro. That's like second. They're like, to me, off. But on paper, that team is supposed to be a winning team, bro. The Lakers? The Lakers. They're supposed to be winning, bro. With who, though? With what player on that team? LeBron and KD together is supposed to, on paper, is supposed to be a thing. They want a chip, yeah. But it's I feel in like in the bubble, though, Sean. Yeah, but I feel like yeah. two isn't enough these days. Two all stars. Well, how many do you think you need? Three. Think about it. Yeah, but who Nuggets had Aaron Gordon, Jokic, and Jamal Murray, and Michael Porter. And Michael, it's just crazy got, how we they have got, and they got Pope. What's, what's his name? Oh, Cal, Caldwell Pope. Like, they yeah. got like four or five players. Over exactly. There. These days, you need more than two. Yeah. I think. And Always. they got my young boy now, Julian. I, it just is mind wrecking. Like how they how there's so many teams with mm-hmm. so many superstars now. Like because back in the day, you used to have like one on the team, one on the team, like mm-hmm. like five in the yeah. league. Now it's like every team almost every, almost every team got at least two. Like, it's, Stack now. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah. So what what with the Lakers? So you said they need one more player. Lakers. They probably need a shooter, right? I think they need like to get a sniper. AD. AD is not reliable. I feel like, yeah. and I feel like LeBron sometimes don't give it his all. Like some, like bro, he's. I never bet on LeBron because you never, you, you never know. Though, like, like I, I get, I get it, but if you tired, just sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit down. He doesn't bro. play D anymore. I like, it's, like, it's, no, like, it's, it's like any, any given game, he give you thirty. Yeah, but his, his over run is at 23, 22. It's like mm-hmm. so he might not feel like playing. He might give you fifteen. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He doesn't try on defense anymore. It's like sometimes, sometimes you can see him walking around the court. Sometimes, like he just it, you can see the age getting to him. Yeah. yeah. So, so, question back to you. So you bought the Lambo truck off of your sports bet winnings. Yeah. How much was that? I put a hundred down. Wow. Um, That's crazy. I paid two twenty four hundred now. Yeah. Dude, I overpaid for my Tesla. I just saw how much I paid yesterday. Seventy one k. Seventy one. They're worth twenty five now. Hey. When'd you buy it? Uh, at the cool. peak, like two years ago. Oh. Elon dropped the price by like sixty yeah, percent. I was heard... so pissed. That's crazy. So you are the Cybertruck. Swap it. Should out? I get it? <laughs> yes. I kind of like the X. Get the Cybertruck. They've been supposed to come out for a while. When they come out? They come out next year. Start next already year. Got I think my pops ordered it like three years ago. Yeah. It's still waiting. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, the $100 deposit. Did you get scammed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I think he did it dope because it's like a crowdfunding. Bro, like, how smart was that? $100 deposit. You might have the chance to get it. And you're going to forget So many about people it. bought well, see, what, it. You wasn't guaranteed to get it with, no. the, with the deposit? No. It was like a lot, of, like a ticket? I don't know. And like a like, raffle. Like a way. raffle. Yeah. It's, it's a method of crowdfunding. E- Elon didn't pay for that car to get manufactured. We did, actually. Yeah. Oh. So he raised all that money, money to pay for the car, yep. and then you might not get it. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> and now they said if you sell it, they, they're fining you 50 k right? Can yeah. You, you can't sell it. You can't sell it. People were selling That's their crazy. things for like 200 right? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. insane. Dude, it's been fun. Anything you want to close off with or promote? Uh, I don't know, man. Y'all go subscribe and get the pics, man. We, we gonna, we've been eating inside, bro. We're going to get this money. Mm-hmm. I've been... T- been all over, but doing a bunch of podcasts, doing a lot of shit, so we going up, bro. What's your What's your IG and website? Uh, Instagram is dpat official, D P A T T O F F I C I A L. Um, from there, you can find me on Telegram. Link is in my bio or on Twitter, dpat official twenty four. Um, like I said, link is gonna be in everything. Straight to Telegram. Join a free group. We got like twelve thousand users in two months. Two months. Twelve thousand you in, users in, in two months. Two months. Jeez. In my free group. 
fifty. My last Jeez. my last ten free plays, I think I'm eight and two or nine mm. and one. Um, so we've been damn. going cra- we've been going crazy in there, bro. So let's get sure, it. If anything, join the free chat. Now, if you're ready to get some real money, fifty dollars, you can't beat it, bro. What's in the free chat? Free chat. So I, that's where I just drop occasional free. Picks. Oh god. So every every couple days, I might drop a free a, a free pick. Okay. You take it or not, and from there, you can join the actual chat. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, Wayne, you got anything? I appreciate you guys. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate you for coming through, bro. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. See y'all. Let's get it. Peace. Peace.